Something's gone wrong. For all our vigilance and battle scars over the Bill of Rights, have we let the flame of freedom's torch grow cold? Because there can be no torch to pass where there's no flame. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. The Second Amendment. Textbooks ignore it, schools teach against it, clergy preach against it, politicians legislate against it, media ridicule it, movies pervert it, courts avoid it, and too many gun owners permit it. Chavin Heston, a lot of people would say they fail to understand your views on guns, for instance, your promotion of the National well, Rifle Association. Well, Americans certainly shouldn't fail to f see that, uh, because it's the Second Amendment of our Bill of Rights, which is a, an utterly unique document. No other government in the world has it. And they had it because those wise old dead white guys that invented the United States had witnessed one of the first acts of General Howe when the they saw the revolution, the Americans really were going to revolt, was to go through as many houses as they could and take away the firearms. But the Second Amendment doesn't imply unrestricted gun ownership, does it? Yes, it does. That's disputed. That's heavily disputed, well, isn't it? Well, it's mistakenly disputed. Well, can I, can I just... I can, well, I, go ahead. Can I just quote to you the words of a Supreme Court Justice, mm -hmm. Lewis Powell, who said, with respect to handguns, it's not easy to understand why the Second Amendment or the notion of liberty should be viewed as creating a right to own and carry a weapon that contributes so directly to the shocking numbers of murders in the U.S. Contributes so directly to the shocking numbers of murders in the U.S.? Um, with due respect to Chief uh, Justice Powell, or Justice Powell, uh, I don't think he has the iconic stature of, say, Thomas Jefferson, who said, when they were drawing up the papers for the Second Amendment and the Bill of Rights, he said, it is the aim that every man bear a gun. Patrick Henry, uh, Richard Henry Lee, uh, Madison, all, uh, it's on the record. It's on very the record, but it's, but it's disputed, isn't it, by, by plenty well, by of less, people? By less intelligent men than those. You, you realize those were giants. I mean, they... Do you think Mr. Justice Powell would argue with Thomas Jefferson? Or James Madison? Or Patrick Henry? This is where it all started, isn't it? Right here in Philadelphia. Two and a quarter centuries ago, a bunch of amazing guys traveled here. They had freedom's business to tend to. Brave, wise, gallant men. They knew their signatures on that Declaration of Independence. Told everybody that they were willing to die for it. By daring to put on parchment what our founding fathers felt deep in their hearts, the long, silent soul of liberty rose up from a commoner's dream to become every man's birthright. That is, as long as patriots like you kindle its flame, freedom has only one enemy it cannot defeat, and that is negligence. So your presence here, now, today, is an act of reverence. Of all man's works beneath the heavens, none shines brighter than our Constitution. I think Jefferson and Paine, Adams, Madison, Mason, Franklin, I think they're looking down right now at us. I think they understand what we're trying to do, what we strive to do. I came here to help make them proud of us. Why have you come here? Every time our country stands in the path of danger, an instinct seems to summon her finest first, those who truly understand her. When freedom shivers in the cold shadow of true peril, it's always the patriots who first hear the call. 
When loss of liberty is looming, as it is now, the siren sounds first in the hearts of freedom's vanguard. What guarantees me freedom? Oh, that's a hard question. What is the Constitution? I don't know. What is the Constitution? I don't know. Guns, in general, are very bad. What is the Constitution? I don't know. What's the Constitution? I don't know. I have no idea what the Second Amendment is. An amendment is... Oh, I know the Second Amendment. Second Amendment. Uh, you got me there. I don't know. <laughs> What's the Second Amendment? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If you could see into the next century and know whether the Second Amendment is still intact or in shambles, would you look? To defeat the divisive forces that would take freedom away, I want to say those fighting words from my cold, dead hands. Yeah!